love them knives back again with a knife from Cancept. And it's a good looking knife, isn't it? This blade shape reminds me of something. And I think there was a knife that was produced that had a bird's name uh, on it. And it was, and it had kind of a look like this on this blade, okay? But this is a collaborative design done with Cancept and it's got a top flipper. It's got front flipper. Oh, oh, there you go. Fail. But I'm not a big front flipper guy, but this is pretty, pretty muted front flipper and it's got the top flipper. And also, you know, you can flick it out of the thumb hole there or whatever you want to call it on the blade. The design is beautiful, it flows nicely, all this. But of course, if you understand, you'll know that this knife is a collaborative with Gin Knives, right? D-J-I-N-N -N Knives. And this this guy was on, uh, what was it? Blades uh, on TV on Forged in Fire in the 2018 uh, season 5, episode 10, okay, because it's Jonathan Sibley, right? And so he's been, you know, art school, he's design, painting, blah, 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 all this kind of stuff, luthier, jewelry maker, furniture maker, etc. And now he owns a storefront shop called Blade Bar in downtown Ben Wheeler, Texas. Okay, so his name, under the name of his gin knives, right, like, I used to say Dijin or whatever, but it's gin. I mean, you've seen movies where the magic being, it's a gin, right? And so the D is silent, but here it is. So it is interesting, the scrolling on here and all that, but you can get it without the scrolling if you want. And I can't remember if they show, if I ever printed out any variants, but you could also get this scrolling with, I think they have one in blue titanium, so you can do that as well. Got a nice back spa spacer and of course a titanium milled pocket clip, which goes nicely and the lines almost match up, don't they? Along here. That's interesting. I hadn't noticed that before. Wow. I'm, I guess I wasn't hyper-focused at the time I was messing with this last time. It's centered. It's nice. It disengages nicely. It's over the detent ball. It's not a guillotine drop. But it's fine for me. I just go like that, right? Bang. And like that. And it'll probably, if we disassemble it, It'll probably loosen her up a little bit. You know what I mean? Sometimes they get a little aggressive tightening these babies down when they assemble them. How much does it weigh? How big is it? It's a full-size knife, that's for sure. And let's kick it over here. Grams. 119 grams. That's not bad, is it? Um, not for a full-size dog, right? Yeah, 4.2. Okay, 4.2. And how big are you? And where did I throw my stupid, uh, where did I throw my, my measuring tape? It's probably sitting here looking at me. And of course it is. <sighs> Three and a half inch blade and not quite eight inches overall. 7.8, somewhere in there. Seven and seven eighths, if you want to be precise on that. And 20 centimeters but 90 millimeter blade, okay? There she be. And let's do this. 12.1 mm, millimeter at 0.47, so that's pretty nice and slender in the hand, and 0.11, which means like a three millimeter blade stock. Okay, so we got all our homework done there. There you go, and here's the box. Stonewash, CPM S35BN textured bead blood, titanium 3.45 inch is what they're saying. As far as blade length, so if you got a legal, you know, restriction for anything 
3.5 or over, then 3.45 is under 3.5, and then you get this box, and this little pouch here, and then you get a microfiber card, uh, microfiber cloth, and your little card with your information, warranty, and stuff in here, in a good old solid box right here. So you get that luxury box. And you know what? Uh, oh, yeah, here it is, $169. I was going to say they're well under $200. That's what Cansep's doing. They're giving you a nice knife, CPM steel, super steel, titanium, all the stuff, ceramic bearings, you know, hardened steel insert, all that kind of stuff. For what? Yeah, for very little money. And here's the stats. If you wanted to get them, okay, so there's that. How's it feel in the hand? Well, you've got kind of a little pistol grip thing here going on. It's Yeah, it, it works for me. This works for me fine, okay, so I'm good with that. Um, reverse grip, feels comfortable as well. And then you got this thumb ramp going on, so that's fine. Um, this definitely gives you some texture, so at least some added degree of grip. Um, you know what? And I don't know, but I'm going to guess those are number six on the, uh, on the body screw. And they are. Okay. So, they are number six on the body and number eight on the pivot anything else it says and there's your model number here of course it was on the end of the box as well and will the knife be a knife and let's find out okay okay i mean i i feel for the drag as it goes through the paper and this is not scary sharp but it's pretty much a standard factory edge so yes it's It'll shave paper, it's good, it feels nice and sharp. It's not ultra, ultra sharp. But a nice stone wash on it, it's good. So, we know how long it is. We know it's got a nice design flow to it. We know it's got a front flipper, top flipper, three ways of opening it, like that. Open design in here. Nice backspacer in here, which helps for tactile response as well. And looks overall, for as far as I'm concerned. And then nice, integrated, almost disappears on you, doesn't it? And you see a screw in here on the pocket clip? No, you don't. So that's interesting. So it's coming in from under there. You can see where it is. And it's weight relieved on the inside as well. So they're doing a lot of stuff here. Yeah, good looking knife. What do you think? Uh, there you go. There's my balance point on it. So, yeah, I'd say they got everything right on this. But you know what? They're working with a guy that has uh, been on Forged in Fire, owns his own knife store, is a custom knife maker. <sighs> it's hard to go wrong in that case, isn't it? So it was nice for them to be able to get him to do a design with them, I think. This this makes it very, very nice. And yeah, this is this is familiar to me, but I think this is a nice blade shape. Very uh, workable in so many different ways. And some piercing, mostly slicing, nice belly to it. And you've got this little break here, right? So for sharpening, that kind of thing. Yeah, I think you're good. I think you're good. Kick it down. And let's see if we can grab Mr. Blue Mat over here and see what we got inside. If it's, I mean, this may be a bit boring for you because you know what? These are all mostly, oh, I know what we got. We got, uh, we got this and I got to grab my other little dog here because Yes, I mean, Cancept, they will do a lot where they don't have a captured pivot. And let me, come on, get in here. There you go. And so, yeah, so you got to break it loose on your own. 
just like this. Now, at least they make it to where you can break it loose on your own. So there you go. That's all you have to do as opposed to, I really would prefer a captured pivot, but as long as they have access both sides, then, you know, it's hard to bitch too much. And then number eight, screws in the body. So those are two things that I prefer personally. And I don't know, maybe buyers don't care. Um, I'm not going to throw a huge fit on it, but I think it's time to make that change. And here's your ceramic bearings. Nice. We're good. We're good. And kick that out. And yes, we've got, oh, we got the, yeah, we got the little race in here. We got the steel washer. And that's the presentation side. And here's the blade with the stop built into the dog. And then these are the track it runs along. And then here's your other ceramic bearings thing. And let's see, yeah, well, <laughs> yeah, no captured. And we figured that much out. And then hardened steel with ceramic bearing in there for your detent ball and over travel stop built in as well. So there we go. And that's your disassembly. All right. And yeah, has a nice drop to it. Three different ways to open it, you know, front flipper, top flipper, finger flick, all that kind of stuff. So very fidget friendly, nice design, great designer, nice collaborative knife, and very inexpensive as well. So it's got a lot going for it. We do love them knives. You guys stay sharp.